I'm going to grab, sort of get this control, grab the sleeve, and get it pulled down. A lot of times, guys will rip this arm out, right? They'll rip it right out. If guy's strong, I might not be able to control him because I haven't been able to put this here yet, right? Once this is here, it's going to be really difficult for him to rip his arm out. But if he feels this coming, this is a good player, he rips that arm out. Now, I have a couple different options, right? Just rip it all the way Rips it out. Notice what happens with his shoulders, right? So his shoulders turn when he rips it out because he's got to be able to pull that all the way back. All right, so I'm no longer patrolling here. All I'm going to do now, my guard is going to open, and I'm going to act almost like I'm doing uh, armbar. This leg is still going to go up high into his armpit. My foot now goes to his hip, right? Leg goes high into his armpit, and then it depends where his arm is. If his arm is on this side of my head, my attack is going to be one way. If his arm is on this side of my head, the attack is going to be different. So this way. So over here, don't make this move happen. He rips that arm out, right? So right here, I come over. I trap the arm here. I'll get tight to my own body, right? And I got to be careful here, right? Because if I'm here, once this leg goes over his head, right? If the guy's good, he may try and jump over my body. So how do I prevent him from jumping over my body? So jump over my body, Chris. We just roll over. I'm fine. The thing that helps me with this is the fact that I hook his forearm. If I don't hook his forearm, I'm going to have problems. So we're here. If I don't have his forearm hooked and I come over, now when he jumps over, it's going to be more difficult for me to do anything with him, right? So we can jump over again. If I roll now, look what happens. I end up flat, and then I have to adjust and maybe go for a little quad. But when I'm here, if I maintain this underneath his armpit, all right, nice and tight to the body, this comes over, and I start working the finish. Sometimes I'll get the tap right here. If not, when he jumps over my body, I just roll all the way through and finish right here. And the key to make that happen is maintaining that hook underneath his forearm. If I don't have the hook underneath his forearm, he jumps over me, I got problems. See one more time. We'll show another variation later when his hands on the other side of the body. Open, reach in, and again, he's too fast, but I'm not going to leave my foot to the hip. Boom. Right here. Alright? If it's bent this way, we can adjust it to something else as well. A lot of times it'll be here, or he'll bring it in. Either one of those is fine. Trap tight. This maintains connection to the armpit. Alright? Don't leave it loose. Maintain the connection to the armpit, and we go over the head. And I start working. I can get the finish here. Or again, if he jumps over my head, I put my head down, and I roll, come right back up, take the tap. Make sense? Cool, let's go.